Hello everyone and thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. I wanted to showcase some gauges. These are made by Pacific Tooling Gauge and these are function gauges. So we have one here with this shorter throat, one here with the longer throat, and then another one here with the longer throat. Both of these are 556 five, function gauges and this one's a 223 and that's essentially the difference between 223 and 556. Five, there is a slight difference in headspace, but the throat area is what's mainly different between the two loads. I'll try to get a good look at this. There we go, 223 Remington function gauge. And then we have 556 NATO function gauge. And then we have the one with the handle, 556 hand function gauge. So with this particular gauge here, I'm still waiting for the 223 version of it, but essentially what you would do is you would paint the gauge with layout fluid, dicum. You could even use magic marker. You would put it into the barrel with your fingers, new tools, and you would see if you can seat it all the way with finger pressure, not jamming it in there, hammering it in, hammering it in with anything. And then you would extract it and see if you um, feel any severe binding. And then with the layout fluid on here, it will show you if there's any undersized dimensions in the chamber. So what this gives you is sort of a, a check that headspace gauges can't give you. So I have some barrel extension headspace gauges here. These are used on a barrel without a bolt to tell you if the barrel itself has the proper headspace dimensions. These are headspace gauges. The only thing that these and these do is tell you whether or not the dimensions are right from the datum line to where the bolt face should be. So it doesn't tell you if the chamber has the right dimensions in here or if the neck area is the right dimension. Only judges or gauges headspace. That's all they do. And then if you wanted to check the throat, you would use something like this gauge here from Michigan's. This will tell you if you have a 556 five, throat. So you would use this and then use that separately, but those two alone don't tell you about the dimensions here in the chamber or here in the neck. These gauges here you would use with an actual bolt. So you put it in there and doing it carefully, you would make sure that you don't chip or burr the gauges and you would attempt to lock the bolt into place. And again, you could paint this with layout fluid and see if you have any severe contact points. But this tells you more more things about the chamber than this, these gauges do. So these don't replace these, but they just add some other dimensions that you can't check with these gauges, which is really important. For my build class, when people bring virgin barrels, I tell them before they attend the class, because live ammunition is not permitted in the classroom, is to take a live round, seat it all the way into the chamber, and then take the barrel and try to tap it out a little vigorously. If you have to take a cleaning rod into the muzzle and drive it out with a lot of force, that means that there's likely something wrong either in the throat, the neck, or the dimensions of the chamber here that's causing the casing, the factory round, to bind. You don't want to use reloaded ammunition to check that. You want to use factory ammunition, but that's something that I have students check. And what this will allow us to do is to reach it, that in the class without having live ammunition around as a safety issue. So I wanted to showcase these gauges, they're pretty neat. Like I said, I'm still waiting on the 223 version of this and I'm also getting a two versions of the 223-556 Wild. So I hope you found this video educational and thanks for watching.